Okay, brakes. Uh, it, it probably will go hot, so let's try it hot. Brakes. Contact. Throttles cracked about quarter inch. Contact. All right, we're taxing out on the Taylor Craft at the Dewey Drome. Visibility is pretty good out of the Taylor Craft. As far as tail draggers go, you can see pretty good. Again, I'm six two and a half, so that helps a lot. But uh, uh, you can't see a lot to the right, but to the left and basically straight ahead, I can still see. So it's really it's not bad as far as tail draggers go. As far as uh, forward visibility when you're taxiing on the ground, I think we've only got about sixteen hundred feet here. We're pretty light on fuel though, so that's not a problem. Very light airplane. Get lined up with the runway here. Make sure our cameraman's ready. Looks like he's walking out to the runway. All right, here we go. Smooth application of throttle. Acceleration is nothing to uh, write home about. Little bit of forward pressure to get the tail up and then uh, kind of ease gradually back so it'll fly off when it's ready to fly off. Probably about 40 miles an hour flying off the ground. And climb rate's really not too bad with me and light fuel. Beautiful night, sun's going down. Hopefully we can get the camera ship up here and get some good pictures before the sun gets too low. Do a little teardrop back here and uh, see where those guys are at. As you can see, it's fairly maneuverable. And you can do basic aerobatics in them. They aren't really uh, built for that. But they are strong enough to do basic loops and rolls. And in fact, a lot of people, because the design is so good, have built strengthened versions more aerobatics with the wings shortened so they roll faster and uh, the spars thicker and stuff like that make them a little bit stronger so they're good for aerobatics because they they are a good maneuverable airplane and the, the basic design uh, actually has a lot of capability. That's a beautiful day over central Ohio here. We're near Dayton. A lot of nice farm fields. September. There's some big empty spaces up to the north here. We're going to go up and fly around over there. Hopefully get some good background and uh, get some good air to air. Uh, again, the cruising speed of the Taylor Craft is roughly between 85 and 90 miles an hour normally. Uh, some of the later ones with the closed cowlings and metal propellers, they claim 95, even 100. Stall speed is about 45 miles an hour, I guess, 40, 45 miles an hour, something like that. So you come down final at, you know, 55. Taylor Crafts have your reputation for, uh, for floating. If you're a little bit too fast when you're coming into land, you'll hear that a lot. In my experience, they're not really that much different than most of the old uh, bottle jumper types, cubs and champs and stuff. But it is a very efficient wing, so it, it will float a little bit if you're a little bit too fast on landing. We shouldn't have any problem keeping up with the camera plane. This should definitely be faster than the old champ. Yeah, back in 1939, these airplanes were considered traveling airplanes, even if they only went 87 miles per hour. Uh, the airplane that I own was built in November of 1939. It was owned by a guy named Dr. George Green in South Bend, Indiana. And he used to fly it to Florida from Indiana. So, you know, in, in the 1930s, to be able to have a personal machine that could go 85, 87 miles an hour was really quite remarkable. All right, camera plane is lining up with the runway. We still have some sunlight left. And they're off. We got Dan doing the piloting duties and Dewey doing the camera duties. Maximum RPM I think is 2550, something like that, 25, 2550. Cruising RPM, I've been cruising around 2300 RPM. It feels smooth at that point. Uh, that's, that's supposed to be kind of a normal cruise RPM. Oil pressure on these is interesting. The Continentals, because they made a bigger engine and it's kind of not working as hard, Continentals run 30 to 40 PSI oil pressure, where this Lycoming runs 60 PSI. A little bit different from the Continental. The temperature, 
according to the normal range is like uh, 170 to 185, something like that. And uh, this one is running right in the normal range on the instrument, so it's, that's, that's a good sign. All right, we're easing in on the champ here. We get Dewey's attention. It definitely has a different feeling from the Continental engine where you're running a higher RPM, it feels louder. It's a smooth engine. The Continental is a little bit more of a thumper and you can kind of tell that Lycoming is a very smooth engine. One of the things that I'm working with here is there is no skylight. A lot of these airplanes have a big plexiglass window in the top, this one does not. And uh, sometimes in formation work that could be a little bit of a problem. You just have to be aware of, uh, make sure you can see the other guy. And they can see you. Get a little nose on shot. Now we have the shadow of the Taylor Craft on the camera. That's always good. Usually you get some good backlit pictures out of that. Hopefully that worked this time. of interesting. We're flying formation with an Aranka champ here. The Aranka was also an Ohio-built airplane. Taylor Craft built in northeastern Ohio. Aranka's built kind of in southern Ohio, Cincinnati and Middletown. And of course the Piper's built in Lock Haven, Pennsylvania. So most of the really popular light airplanes of the late 1930s and 1940s came from Ohio and Pennsylvania. And the sun is going down. It's going to be the end of a beautiful day of flying. I left Wisconsin this morning about 10.30. I had ground fog. That wasn't really ground fog, but it was very low clouds. It was probably a two or three hundred foot ceiling at eight o'clock in the morning when I wanted to leave. I was hoping to get to West Virginia in one day, but, uh, but the fog didn't lift till about 10.30 in the morning, so I finally got started at 10.30 in the morning. Taylorcraft really is a fun airplane to fly. There's a, you know, there's kind of a Ford Chevy thing. Uh, people, some people love Aronkas. Some people love Taylor Crafts, some people love Pipers. I like them all. I own a Taylor Craft. I do kind of like the side-by-side -side seating. You can talk to the person next to you. It is an efficient airplane if you're going places. I have flown my Taylor Craft in something like 35 different states of, of the United States. I've had it all the way to California and back with 65 horsepower and 12 gallons of gas. Mine has a Continental. It burns a little bit more than four gallons an hour. So a little bit less than three hours of fuel. This one seems to be burning a little bit less than four gallons an hour. So uh, a little bit more than three hours of fuel till dry. You don't get. You won't want to get that close, of course. Set up 
for landing. Again, as I said, about probably about 55 miles an hour down final is about right. RV is on. Because uh, the Dewey Drome is so short, it's only about 1,600 feet. Uh, I usually come in a little bit low and kind of drag it in. Normally, you kind of like to come in high and uh, turn the, pull the power all the way off and glide all the way down. Kind of practice for in case you ever have to make a forced landing. But because the strip is so short, as I say, we'll come in a little bit slower and a little bit lower and kind of drag it in and chop the power right over the end of the runway. We fly a right-hand pattern here so we don't disturb the neighbors when we're landing to the northeast. Throttle back to idle, RP on. Looks clear down final. Get all lined up here. All right, we're showing about 55. Very short final. Looks actually a little fast. Power off. Over the corn. And a little bit of the Taylor Craft float. Touch down main wheel first a little bit. Very easy to keep straight. Of course, we don't have much wind. We're landing on grass. And a big crosswind on pavement. You know, you have to work a little bit, but uh, it's not too bad. And mission accomplished. Now we put the airplanes away, and we go to Young's for ice cream. not too hard to get out of. Man, Andrew, that was great. Man, we had a great time flying, uh, formation flying. Andrew always does a great job flying formation. Dan, you did a great job. Camera pilot. Yeah. Shutter fly two. Shutter fly two or something. Shutter yeah. two, something like that. <laughs> number two, he's not number two. Yeah, he's, all right. Time well, for Young's. Yeah, not for me. <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, the video that Andrew and I got to put together here. Uh, hit the like and subscribe button. I'm going to try to have more videos out here soon. It's, my season's slowing down. I'll have some barnstorming stuff soon. And uh, Andrew, thanks a lot for this summer, all the help you've done for me. And Dan, thanks for being here. Until then, blue skies. <laughs>